Cyber Lab Performance Analytics and Early Alerts Updates 2021. Performance analytics enable you as instructors to see and analyze student performance across multiple courses. Based on course progress, students' performance is identified at, above, at, or below expectation through a variety of graphs and visualizations. You can aggregate up to 25 courses sections at a time. You can also quickly identify problem areas. Here's an example of the student score versus time on task graphic so that you can compare student performance to the amount of time they're spending on their assignments. You can select categories at the top and filter the list of students. You can also look at the assignment page and filter by name of assignment, type of assignment, or tag to further see how your students are doing. Or you can select low performance and see which students are performing poorly on particular assignments. You can also filter by students by their performance student tags or assignment names, or search by other criteria. You can email students directly from the dashboard as well. Early alerts. Early alerts help with early identification of struggling students. Why use them? Because we as instructors know that there are students who appear to be doing well when they're using learning aids and trying again and again on homework, but then bomb when it comes time for a quiz or a test. What if you could intervene before it's too late? For example, here's a case where a student is getting all the homework exercises correct eventually, but they clearly didn't master the content. They may even think that they're ready for the exam because they were feeling overly confident. Early Alerts uses predictive analytics based on years of data science research to identify a potentially invisible student population. It lets you as the instructor make use of data to identify at-risk students. It utilizes homework and quiz test grades, but it also looks at how often students are correct on the first try, how they attempt exercises, and so on. The alert level is far more predictive of course outcome than homework success. The algorithm compares how well a student is doing to their peers based on their performance in MyLab on both homework and tests. The algorithm incorporates six factors about student preparedness and comprehension in a formula which generates a probability score that a given student is at risk. A student with a value close to zero is outperforming their classmates and less likely to be at risk. A student with a value close to one is underperforming and more likely to be at risk. What's been updated? There's a lot more emphasis on students getting questions correct on the first attempt, as well as looking at how long does it take them to get it correct. Quizzes and tests carry a higher weight. The algorithm also compares how students are doing to the rest of the class, so it can factor in if this is really just a very rigorous course. It updates daily, but the course homepage is updated on Mondays. The 20 item minimum requirement includes 20 full questions. Even if a question has 10 parts, it is considered to be one item. In math, that could easily be just one assignment. This is instead of the prior 30 questions. Then we get some really nice color-coded analyses of how our students are doing, who's at high risk, medium risk, low risk, or who does not have enough information yet. If students have not submitted 20 homework items or test items, there will be insufficient data. You are in control to create the course to fit your needs, so you can easily adjust risk settings to control what high, medium, and low risk looks like in your course. You can then dig in and take a look at individual student progress and compare them to the class average. Through the dashboard, you will be able to email a group of students, email an individual student, or export a student file. Where do I find these? These are both located in your gradebook under Performance Analytics on the Gradebook tab or under More Tools. What if it's not there? Early Alerts was turned on for all current editions of Math Stats Engineering My Lab courses in December 2019. If you created your course prior to that, you will not see this feature. It is able to be turned on via Course ID for professors. It was also turned on for many other current editions such as Business and Nursing in June 2020. Thank you so much for joining us for our video. Learn more about this and other features on our product training and support site.